Hello everyone, uh, this is a new video about the Jelly Bean 3D which is this uh, small 3D printed car. Well, actually we're gonna do it on uh, full size. This is just the scale model. Okay, and this, this video is gonna be about some components that I want to install in the, in the vehicle and I just want to, to show you them. And at the same time, I want to let you know that you can participate in this project. Just uh, uh, read the description and there's different ways that you can, how you can participate into it. Okay, so yes, let's begin. Uh, I want to show you some of the components, like I said, okay, so let's start with the wheels. Uh, we're going to use um, bicycle wheels, okay, 20 inch size uh, wheels. Okay, this is one of the front wheels that I'm going to use, uh, including the uh, a disc. This is a 180 millimeters disc diameter, okay, and it's mounted on an aluminum wheel, but it can be as well on a spoked wheel, it doesn't really matter. The only thing which is important is, is got, uh, that it's got um, hole through axle like you can see yes the the axle is completely uh, hollow okay so in order to be installed in the in the real knuckles okay and let me show you for example the uh, hinges for the doors the hinges for the door sorry for the doors no for the door it's got only one door and uh, they are just standard um, uh, friction hinges you can find them usually in many hardware stores or uh, online and as soon as I publish the bill of materials, I will put all the details where you can find all the parts and where you can buy them and, and everything, okay? I hope that I can put different links where you can find them. Um, another important component, okay, for the, for the structure, I'm gonna use for some, well, there's some parts that have to be made on aluminum, okay? And we're, we're gonna use uh, 22 millimeters tubing of, of aluminum. If it's not strong enough, it can be changed by, to steel. So just in case, for example, it's gonna be used for the, uh, rear suspension frocket and for some parts of the steering obviously the handlebar okay and this is the part the piece that is gonna join all the all the tubing okay it's a very standard 90 degrees uh, join uh, thing okay you can as, as well you can easily find them in many places okay uh, so there's no need of, of welding of the aluminium you just you just uh, we will connect the tubes with these uh, little things okay for the um, Suspension and for the and for the steering uh, steering throws, we will gonna use um, aluminum tubing, slightly smaller than that one, and this is standard uh, rod end bearings. Okay, as I said, I will put a link to, to the reference and everything on the bill of materials. Okay, some little details. Oh, the the mirrors. These are very small mirrors. I found them on internet. I look. Uh, I found them very nice and very cute for this uh, vehicle. So I. I bought them and you know they are usually mounted on I think I have seen them on Harry Davidson motorcycles and well they will go on the on the jelly bean. Okay, what else? Uh, oh okay let's go to the electrical parts. Okay, here we got the charger for the battery. The battery is gonna be a 48 8 volts battery, okay, and this is just a standard e-bike charger of 48 volts. Well this is slightly modified by me in order to be more powerful, but any any standard e-bike charger will work uh, for, for this uh, project. Okay, what else? Oh, the battery, okay. I'm going to make the battery in a, this is a bit experimental as well. I have, it happens that I have around several hundreds of these small little cells, okay? So I'm gonna make a battery as a Tesla style, okay? Made with uh, hundreds of these small little cells. This is not the most appropriate way to make a battery, but it happens that I have, like I said, hundreds of these ones, so I will make a battery probably around 400 of these unit cells, okay, in order to make the, the, the full battery. Anyway, you can work with any battery from an e-bike that you can find on, on internet for 48 volts. The way I'm gonna do it is just, I'm gonna assemble those small cells into a modulus of uh, six cells, okay, and these this modules will be joining together in a, in a, bigger, in a bigger range in a bigger range in order to get the 48 volts, okay, at the capacity that I want to. Okay, what else? Oh, the motor, okay. The motor, it's a standard in-wheel motor of around 1000 watts, okay, it can give speaks up to 2000 watts, something like that. I think it will be more than enough for this for this vehicle, but if it, if it doesn't, I think I have some other motors around here which are more powerful, but with this it must be more than enough. 
to go up to 45, 50 kilometers an hour. Okay, uh, obviously the motor had to be installed in this uh, 20 inch uh, rim with spokes. Okay, that will be done later and probably in another video. Oh, headlights. Uh, these are standard car headlights. Uh, well, uh, you can find them, uh, they are LED, okay, LED lights. You can buy them on Amazon, Aliexpress, and all these places. Uh, they are usually mounted on Jeep, okay, and they are 7 inch diameter headlights, okay. Uh, what else? Oh, this is the controller. This is the controller for the motor. It is quite big. It is actually probably bigger than what this motor needs, but again, I have it in stock, so I will install it. That's it. Okay, it's a 50 amp, uh, 48 volts, or even more. Yeah, it can go up to 72 volts and 50 amps, which is uh, crazy, <laughs> crazy too much power for, for this vehicle, but okay, uh, it will do this work perfectly without even overheating. Uh, about the brakes, okay, uh, here I'm gonna install a standard. Uh, Bicycle brakes, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use Tektro brand, which is a quite good quality brand. This is more heavy than a bicycle, so we need a good quality, good quality brakes. The front two wheel will go with this hydraulic brakes, and the rear wheel will have only uh, for now um, regenerative braking. Okay. I hope it's more than enough to to stop this vehicle in a proper manner. Okay, uh, the only thing different from a normal uh, bike is that it's got this connector for the, for the, uh, for the electric brake, okay, so uh, the, all the rest is just standard bicycle brakes. Okay, and what else? Okay, I can show you some parts that I have already printed for the, these actually are parts from the, from the door. I about, about a dozen of them and there's many more to print to go. Okay, and I want to show you something if I can find it. Okay, this, no, not this. Here it is. Okay, this is a, one of the parts that uh, failed on the printer because, uh, well, the, I had a, the electric current just blow up in my house, so the printer just stopped it and I was not able to reinstall re it again. Okay, so, well, as you can see, the parts are hollow, okay? The, uh, in the inside there is a structure. People who is familiarized with a 3D printer, they will know this infill, which is called geroid. It's, I've chosen that one because it's very strong in every direction. And this is the good thing about 3D printing. You can control how is the structure inside of the part. So you, we are able to make very light parts, quite strong uh, versus its weight. Okay, this is what I'm counting on. About the, I'm, I'm working on a on a extra inside of the of the parts, and I think that with this I'm I'm finished with this video. And as I said, just check in the in the in the comments below and the in the description um, about how you can collaborate into this project or how you can participate. And if you like, you are really welcome to do. And just please comment in the video and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.